Are there signs of evolution in your body? Millions have watched this video that claims that some of our arm and ear muscles, as well as goosebumps and our tailbones, are leftovers from our supposed evolutionary past. Let's find out if this is true. But first, let's see the big picture. In the 1890s, so called vestigial organs numbered as high as 180. Now, modern science is actually down to zero. The most recent so called vestigial organs to make the we actually need these list are the tonsils, the appendix, and the pineal gland. We've learned that the tonsils and appendix help fight off infection. The pineal gland is critical for biorhythms and sleep. Are goosebumps useless vestigial parts in humans today? Were they only beneficial for our furry mammal relatives because they raise hair and increase the amount of space for insulation? This video calls them another futile effort by our vestigial body parts. Actually, they're not. New research has confirmed both purpose and function for goosebumps, stating, For us, naked apes, goosebumps are often thought of as a kind of evolutionary hangover, and people used to think the goosebump muscle was vestigial, an evolutionary remnant of no functional significance. Now, their 3D constructions have uncovered this muscle to be a lot more interesting than we thought. The erector pili helps maintain vital stem cells of the skin. Their report continues, The lower end of the goosebump muscle is attached to the follicle so it creates a stem cell niche, a place that protects and maintains stem cell populations. The upper end of the goosebump muscle creates a second stem cell niche, which is even more important in that it maintains the stem cell population for the entire outer layer of the skin. The muscle is like a dumbbell connecting the two vital stem cell niches. He continues, Until we did this research, no one knew where the stem cells were in the epidermis. The stem cell population are very important in wound healing and skin cancer. From a practical standpoint, goosebumps help keep us warm by generating heat and trapping a layer of air when we're cold. Also, a team of Harvard researchers found that they may trigger new hair growth. They said, goosebumps are part of a two-phased response to cold. In the first, the muscle below the skin is stimulated to form goosebumps. If this stimulation lasts long enough, the second phase kicks in, with the sympathetic nervous system calling for new hair growth and repairs for the old ones to be made in response to the cold. What an appropriate design! A mechanism to generate heat when goosebump muscles contract, coupled with shivering to stay warm when we're cold, and a trigger for generating more hair if the cold keeps up. And let's not forget the emotional benefits connected with goosebumps, like when we are touched physically or psychologically. As always, even this body part plays multiple roles, in closing, we would like to share why we make these videos. For those who are already Christians, we hope these videos strengthen your faith. It's important that Christians know they can trust God's Word, all the way back to the beginning, especially in a world saturated with evolution teaching. To those being drawn to faith in Christ, trusting in God's Word is part of that process. Even though you might not fully believe in these things now, we pray you will grow in trust and understanding that God's Word is both scientifically and historically credible, all the way back to the beginning. Your faith journey begins with repentance and turning away from your sins, realizing that Christ suffered once for sins, the just for the unjust, that He might bring us to God. In the words of Jesus, Most assuredly, I say to you, He who hears my word and believes in Him who sent me has everlasting life, and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. We encourage you to take this first step to a new life. Looking for answers about what the Bible teaches about creation, the fossil record, dinosaurs? Download the Genesis Apologetics app from the iTunes or Google Play stores for answers to these questions and more. <laughs>